Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And in a more than one video, I've been trying to get enough batteries up and running to get an oops going. A couple of videos ago, I took this apart and took out all the batteries to charge them individually. Oh, I didn't really charge them individually. I charged them in a parallel to be able to charge them with low voltage like 12 volts. I have a, a previous video way back tried to charge all of these at once. Five of these batteries are in, in a chain and there is two chains so that, that's 60 volts and that didn't work out for me at all. It was a disaster. Let's just call it that. It was a disaster. Now I actually have 10 of these batteries. That seems to be pretty good. So I'm gonna be putting them back into the plastic box and putting them back into the oops and I'm gonna let it run in the oops for the rest of the day and then I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect it. I don't want it to run in the oops while I'm not here. If you haven't seen my video where I pull out a battery bank that has surely had flames inside of it, I'll see if I can find it and um, it will be here. Uh, all my videos are numbered so you just go search for that number zero and then the number and you get the video. So, very easy. So um, yeah, let's put these back in the bank and see if we get two strains of 60 something volts. Here is the battery box and the battery goes inside of this one. So they are put like, just get this, like this in the box. And I don't think there's any point there as about as good all of them so I'm just gonna put them in and just randomly these clips are to connect the batteries two and two I do that all the way you get a really good connection with these somebody has been thinking when they made this this is brilliant Let's see what we got. We have 62.8 volts. Second bank. We have no power on the multimeter. Did it just run out? 63.2. The bank has been put together and I put a piece of tape on it. So good as new. Here is the OOPS in the data center and it's an, it's an HP R3000XR and this OOPS is also available from Compaq and I think it, it's a branded APC OOPS. So I brought the battery bank up and I'm gonna be sliding it in. Okay, let me just admit, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. It seems to be very important that this little black cable right here is located right there. So I don't 
open up the box and I'm setting it up with some tape. If it's not there, the box is not able to go in there without getting stuck. And I just used the last 10 minutes of getting it unstuck. That's, this is too big. More tape. And I'm going to do the other side as well. A little tiny thing like that and it slides in and out like a chunk. Very nice. Metal thingies that have to go on here. Good enough for testing, so let's put on the cover and make it look nice. Okay, I'm kind of ready. The oops is all assembled, the battery is installed. I have my old Dell laptop here and I'm using it because it has a serial connection not many laptops has that anymore and well I'm about ready to actually turn on the oops so I'm gonna go behind the scenes and do that and uh, hope that there is not too much smoke coming up okay there's now power on the oops down there can you see it's blinking it's blinking right there just gonna give it a little bit before we do anything stupid and I have some software on the computer that I want to get working try to connect to it actually it, it already says that it's kind of there I forget the password I have to figure that out too okay I got in and what do we see here we have running time remaining zero minutes battery voltage 76 volts oh well, that's not a lot Input current is 225 volts. Output, we're not outputting anything. It's not turned on right now. We have one alert. Hmm. Lock. Okay, the, the time is not very great. Have to configure that somewhere. Maybe go into setup here. My account, user account. Maybe it's the time of, oh, the time of the computer is totally messed up. Update now. Oh, I'm not connected to any network, that's why it's messing up. Well, I have a bit of a trouble because this laptop is so old that it's not able to connect to the wireless LAN because, or the wireless network, because the security web thingies are not compatible anymore. So, it's not able to do that. I'm just clicking around here, looking what, what we have have some locks let's go home again see what it says now the battery voltage has gone up dramatically so apparently it's it likes that now battery install date is weird let's see if we can turn this on anyway battery test Let's test the battery in 10 seconds, see if that does anything. It, it did change it down here and it's blinking red, stuff like that. Checking different stuff. There's no charge on it. I'm not, I'm not stressing it in any way. I haven't connected anything out of it. It's probably back now. Let's see, overview. Not much has changed. It's funny now it's changed everything back to 2014. Wonder if that's when I played with it last. I'll try and power on the thing and see if anything changes. Now it's on. And it's telling me here what the output load is. It's absolutely zero because I haven't connected anything. I'll go on the back of the server and connect something. Okay, I connected one server and it rose to four. So it's now 
4% used. That's not a lot, but it's something. Everything is green, so that's pretty cool. Input voltage is good. Output voltage is also good. It's, it's quite amazing. It can take input voltage down to 100 and uh, I guess 60 volts and all the way up to 200 and probably 90 volts and it, it makes that to something between 255 and 209 maybe 200 volts has to be in that range and this is the output load how much load there is on this oops now i'm running the oops and the battery is there i wonder if we can get some kind of a battery status well, I've been clicking around on this and I've even Windows upgraded the machine and stuff like that and this program is just not very good. I'm able to get some of the numbers but I'm not able to see how much the batteries are being charged and stuff like that. I had to upgrade the Adobe Flash thing for it to show a graph and then it showed a graph for a little bit and then it stopped. I'll just show you that. Here are all the numbers if we go over to Locks and go down to UPS data graph it shows me something here in the middle of everything it hasn't recorded anything before that and it hasn't recorded anything afterwards so i have no idea what it, what it is doing here it is kind of working right now the battery capacity has dropped a little bit it's down to 75 percent right now i have no idea why it's dropping like that well it is kind of working um I'm not gonna let this run during the week. I'm gonna turn it off when I leave here and pull out the batteries just enough so that it don't have any connection to the rest of it because I've had some really bad experience with this stuff. I wanna be here when I'm testing it. Last time I had flames down in the UPS, uninterrupted power supply, and I didn't like that coming up here and hearing it beeping and pulling out the batteries and there has been burnt plastic and acid. Didn't enjoy that at all. I don't want to do that again so I'm gonna disconnect it this time and play again with it next weekend. Plop it in and see what happens then. Maybe even take it, take it out and see what all the batteries are doing if I need to replace any of them. I have six good, six good batteries in the basement so if there is a couple of them that are bad, I can replace them with one of the good ones in the basement. I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and see how this turns out. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.